Hi guys, so such a great question, Chelsea, and I had a few minutes, so I thought rather than just typing out a quick answer, I would take a minute and just kind of share some thoughts with you because I had a ton of discussions with other coaches while we were away at Summit and lots of really great brainstorming and lots of really good feedback from all of us who were all coaches within the sisterhood. So I wanted to just take a quick minute to share some of those thoughts. And what you choose to do with it is completely up to you, but I have found that it has definitely made a difference and has made an impact, some of the ideas that some of the other coaches had paired with some of the things that I was already doing. So first of all, I will say I have branded the Unbalanced Balanced name. So I do have a logo and I do use that logo. So when I have a new coach that I want to share with our coaching community, I will do a post within there that just has their image and says, welcome Sarah to um, the coaching community. And I'll put my little logo in the corner. I feel that that is important because it's, it's me it's unbalanced balance that's pouring into those people, that's mentoring them, that's, um, those are my people. So I do want to have my little logo and I do want to acknowledge because it's my business, right? So the way that I look at all of the big opportunity is in three parts. And this is, this is what we all kind of, kind of came up with or designed and I really, really love it. So first of all, there's our community. Our community is our mama that is uh the sisterhood that is all of the information the resources all of the amazing beautiful things that courtney and aaron have built and that we all contribute to we are a part of that family um and that is where we can send our coaches that is where we send all of our challengers and that is the that is everything, that is community. Then there is the accountability. So the accountability really does come back to me on Balance Balance. And for that, I have my Challenger app and we have the Facebook um, roll call. So I have been doing my own My Challenger Challenge app for the last several months and it's been going really well. Now that we have roll call on the sisterhood, there's a whole lot of FOMO happening. So I have half of my people or tons of people that are still in the app who want the privacy um, of that quiet community versus a few that are now just plugging into the sisterhood and into that roll call because there was so much FOMO around all of the amazing momentum and excitement that was happening there. So I'm I'm sending people to the My Challenger app, but because they belong to that community, they're already seeing it and then they can decide to jump ship and go there as well. So I'll be honest with you, in the last couple of weeks, especially with MM100, the last few days, I have started showing up for roll call on Sisterhood Community. And I've started to do that because I have people in both. So I'm actually checking into both. And I want to be present within that community. I want those challengers to get to know me because I want to contribute in a bigger way to the sisterhood. So if I'm showing up there with my sweaty selfie, they're getting to know me. So then when I go on and share information, then I'm, I'm relevant to them. I'm not just a nobody. I'm somebody that's a part, a contributing part. And I think that makes it more exciting for the challengers who want to start coaching. They don't just see coaches on the sidelines. They're seeing us all being an active part. For somebody like me that wants to dive in and really wants to have a presence, that's perfect. That would be exciting to me. Um, and then, so yeah, so there's community, there's accountability. So community within our sisterhood um, Facebook group accountability within my challenger app and then there's the one-on-one -on -one coaching so that's kate that part of kate is where i check in on people i do my one-on-one -on -one calls with people when it's needed we talk nutrition we talk fitness we talk um, modifications when needed and that is where i can figure out what all of my individual clients need and then can go into the accountability and poke when needed and i can share our beautiful community so I do think that branding is super important because that is your face to your specific clients. 
So Chelsea, yeah, whether you come up with a name or whether it is simply just Chelsea or whatever you want it to be. Um, Rachel Braga is an example. Um, oh, what is her name? I can't remember, okay, Christine Forche. She has Root to Rise. Um, Crush Nation, but it's still under Kim Fitzpatrick. So people have their own names for their Instagram accounts, but then have their own branded little logo or name. If anybody needs any help with design or you know brainstorming ideas, don't hesitate to reach out. The artist in me absolutely loves those little projects. Anyway, good luck. I hope that that helps. Have a beautiful day. I have to go back and build more IKEA furniture.